Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and we are, this is going to be the daily forecast for September 23rd, 2020. And we are looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we have broken down quite significantly. We have broken down to underneath the 300 moving average. And we are uh, now trying to get to a 200 moving average. Um, this is all due to, to the US dollar uh, index basically appreciating or the US dollar appreciating, which will, of course, affect most of these uh, currency pairs uh, quite substantially. Um, so, yes, uh, we do expect the dollar, the US, uh, the Great British Pound US dollar to go down to 1267. And uh, from there, we have the 200 moving average, and that should be actually a major uh, support. We can also see historically this area here where the uh, 200 moving average is at the moment it was uh, support in the past. If we were to break the 200 moving average, we would go down to this area here, which is around 1251, and then down to uh, this area here, which is at 12.24. Uh, uh, well, there's a lot of uh, problems in the United Kingdom with Brexit, uh, with the coronavirus, and now also the appreciation of the US dollar. So, of course, this pair uh, will mostly go much lower. We can also see all the technical indicators are pointing to, to a lower. We are oversold at this point. And so... Um, but I don't think I will have a pullback before we reach the 200 moving average. Weekly uh, stochastic is pointing right down, and that means that we'll have further sell-off of this currency pair. US dollar yen. We have uh, rallies quite substantially. This is also due to the uh, US dollar appreciating. We can see that all the technical indicators pointing that we are going much higher from here. We were oversold, uh, now we're just underneath oversold the area. The, the MACD is pointing upwards, meaning that we are most likely going to cross the signal line within the next two, three trading sessions. Uh, but however, the stochastic is still pointing downwards. Is This is the weekly. So if we look at the daily, we can see that it is pointing upwards. So we may go and touch this 50 moving average line, which is around here, before we then break down again. Um, I Last uh, yesterday's um, analysis, I basically um, had this uh, square uh, drawn up because it may well be that we'll be trading within this square. We are trading quite sideways, and at the moment, we have been touching this, these lows here. So they, well, that may well be. However, I do expect the 50 moving average to be quite resistant. So um, a pullback from the 50 moving average means that we'll go lower. So Euro, US dollar, again, we have broken down through the 50, 20 expansion moving average, 40 expansion moving average. And now we are basically putting our eyes on this green line, which is the 100 moving average, which is around 1157. Um, if we were to break that, we will go down to 1140, which was uh, previous uh, resistant. And this was an area where we used to trade for a very long time. This is the bullish flag that kicked us to, up to this area here. However, as long as the US dollar is appreciating, uh, which it will do most likely for the next two to three weeks, this um, pair will go lower. We can also see the, the, the MACD being quite negative. It is basically crossing down to the negative area now. We are not oversold, not overbought, so we may see a, a lot more room to the downside. And also goes for the sarcastic. It is pointing straight down. If you look at the weekly, it is, yeah, weekly. It also is indicating that we will go much further down uh, the next few weeks. So we look at the Aussie US dollar. We have broken down quite substantially. 
the previous support line of uh, of a 20 exponential moving average the 40 exponential moving average have broken and so has the 50 moving average and and at this point uh, we expect it to go down to the green line which is the 100 moving average which is a, around 0 0.70 uh, 70 so yes We'll see what happens when we get there. If we break through there, uh, through the, this moving average, we'll go all the way down to the 150 moving average. However, this area here should be major uh, support. So a pullback from this area here uh, would not be, would it be expected? We also have this moving average just moving up uh, through this area. However, the technical indicators are pointing to lower price levels both the macd the rsi the stochastic uh, also the bollinger band and so on this is fairly negative at this point it's probably a better idea just to leave this market alone and just see how far we fall uh, don't think that we are in a trend reversal yet uh, but it depends on the us dollar and the appreciation of the us dollar if you look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar, we are approaching the 200 moving average. We have broken through this uh, channel here. And at the moment, we are testing the 100 moving average. If we have a pullback from here, we have the 50 moving average underneath. And at this point, it is also the US dollar that is appreciating and pushing this market, basically, this pair higher. Um, as long as that is the case, um, the, these moving average probably won't be uh, that uh, resilient. Uh, we had a long period of, of downturn in this market, and it may well be that that has changed. We'll see in the next few trading sessions. However, the MACD is pointing upwards the, uh, the rsi is also in the upward momentum and so is also the stochastic it is pointed to upwards momentum so we may see this uh, um, this pair going through all of these moving averages and going to uh, to much higher levels i would expect this area here to be quite resistant as this was previous uh, resistance